Welcome to the Inspectations Podcast, hosted by Justin Starbird, CEO of the Abley Group. In business, one of the most difficult tasks a leader must do is find a way to inspect what they expect. Too often, great businesses fail or managers lose their way because they were operating based on expectations that they had not yet inspected. The Inspectations Podcast brings together business leaders from all industries to talk about best practices, innovation, leadership, and business development. You're listening to the Inspectations Podcast. Here's your host, Justin Starbird. Welcome back to the Inspectations Podcast. My name is Justin Starbird. I am here with, well, Kurt, you're becoming a real good friend of mine now. Um, Kurt Walker of Anthony Liftgates. Welcome to the show. Hello. Good to be talking uh, again. Yeah, man, uh, doing a lot of stuff together. So it's um, great to great to get to know you. Great to get to know the company. Um, you know, how is Illinois today? It's finally starting to warm up over here. Looking forward <laughs> to it. There is uh, snow in the mountains of Maine today, so it wasn't uh, wasn't quite as warm as we were hoping. Um, it's still in that very much April showers will hopefully bring May flowers. Yeah. So. Hey, uh, you know, you work for a pretty interesting company in Anthony Liftgates. What do you guys do? So we build uh, lift gates for the back of trucks and trailers. Uh, we have a, a product line of lift gates that go everything from pickup trucks to semi trailers. Actually, the original name in the business of uh, the lift gate business. Uh, we're family owned and based in uh, America's heartland here in Pontiac, Illinois. Great. And now, uh, what is your, your role? It, it says product uh, manager here at Anthony Liftgates, but, but what does that actually mean? Yeah, so I joined the family business uh, a couple of years after college, working elsewhere uh, about eight years ago. Um, for about five years, I focused on marketing and sales efforts. That means uh, updating website, brochures, other marketing type efforts. Um, more recently, I've transitioned to the product manager role, which is a lot more attention attention on new product development and uh, getting new stuff out there and optimizing our current products. And uh, I do, do still manage most of our marketing efforts um, just to a lesser extent, maybe than I did earlier here. Sure. Well, you mentioned family business and, you know, I certainly know about that. There's a lot of history actually at Anthony Liftgates. You, you mentioned also that it's the original name in Liftgates. How did it get started? Like, you know, tell us a little bit about, you know, what that, what that's meant for you and the family. Yeah. So uh, long story short, the Anthony name is a a family name of uh, the Anthony family dates back to 1917 where uh, the owner and a few others got together and began making a truck equipment for the fledgling highway transportation industry, right? As cars were starting to become a thing in uh, the U S Uh, They grew that business to be pretty prominent in the truck equipment industry, and they gradually branched into other areas like uh, military equipment and farm equipment. And in the 1930s and 40s, my grandfather was kind of the right-hand man of the owner, and he was involved in commercialization of the first lift gate in the 40s. And uh, after World War II, he left and started his own company, um, Streeter Dependable Manufacturing, and uh, that stayed in the family for a while, passed on to my grandfather. And... um, came full circle and he had the opportunity to buy the liftgate business from Anthony back in the early eighties. And, uh, it's been back with us ever since. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty neat. I don't, I don't know if I knew that part of it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, you personally also come from a long line of entrepreneurs, you know, your grandfather, great grandfather, you know, and now you're overseeing, uh, the product line. How do you keep not just yourself, but your, t- your team, you know, focused and, and keep them pushing forward to innovate on, you know, new projects? Yeah. Um, you know, there's a quote stuck in my head. I'm not really sure where it came from, but it's something to the effect of uh, just when you think you've arrived, you're about to be shown the door. So I kind of always approach business with a sense of humility that someone's doing something better than I am. And I just try to recognize that. Um, as far as what keeps us moving here, our, our team, we have a pretty good small team that works on the, uh, the new product side of things. And uh, we just try to build stuff we would like to use. Uh, we all dabble in mechanical stuff on the weekends for fun, from racing cars to 
you know, just working around the house, we all use a lot of this type of stuff. So if we wouldn't like to use it, that's kind of the standard we use for what we, what we try to build. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so you've built a culture on that too, no? Yeah, I think so. It's, it takes time to build that kind of thing, but uh, I think we've got a good team right now. Absolutely. Well, you, uh, I, I know a little bit about what you guys are doing now in terms of, you know, innovation and um, to your, your point about, you know, once you finally make it, you, you're about to be shown the door. Uh, not that you're anywhere near a door, but you guys have uh, established a, a new partnership with a company out of Boston. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, that that partnership would be the Rise Robotics folks, and they're actually how we came to be acquainted with Abley here. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a new partnership to try to commercialize a new technology that uh, is intended to replace hydraulics. And uh, that's a pretty big deal, uh, I'd say globally for all hydraulic machinery, but definitely for the liftgate market. It's kind of neat that we cho- they chose to start here, and I think it's a good fit. So, uh, you know, we, we've owned quite a few businesses in the family over the years, from log splitters to other metal bending shops to machining. And uh, this is one of the most ambitious, most exciting things we've undertaken. You know, lift gates have been driven by very similar components for decades, which is basically electrically driven hydraulic systems. And they work well, but uh, they have some drawbacks as uh, people have come to sort of tolerate over time. And this thing really is a game changer and that it's, it's rethinking the way lift gates work. It can Absolutely. It works well. Yeah. So, you know, talk a little bit about some of the ways that it does change the business or, or change, you know, how, you know, people are going to move things, you know, up and down. You know, what it changes for us, you know, we want to, we are aiming for reliability is, is one uh, area of improvement. I don't think lift gates have gotten the reliability improvements that we've seen in like automobiles or even chassis over the years. You know, people expect that thing to work every time they turn the key. Mm-hmm. far more than they used to, you know, people are less tolerant of uh, preventative maintenance. So reliability is big and efficiency is the other key word here. Um, you know, lift gates can use quite a bit of power and it can actually be kind of difficult to get them enough power to work properly. And that plays into the reliability side as well. But uh, this new technology is so much more efficient that it solves both of those problems. What's the feel like on the floor as you guys start, you know, putting some of these things together and, and seeing the first uh, tests, you know, nearly out the door? It's pretty exciting. Um, you know, you start these kind of projects early on. They're just sort of a proof of concept. Can this even work? And then <laughs> right. the, the more you build, the more you validate that, you know, this is a real thing and this is going to work. And I think we're to that point now. Um, we've, we've had even all employee meeting uh, a week or two ago where we got to show it to everybody here to kind of show them what they've been working on for the past couple of years in secret. And uh, everybody thought it was pretty cool. And, and I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty exciting, especially with it, you know, now, uh, you know, you recently were at a, a couple of, of trade shows where they, you know, where you were able to show it off too. Can you talk a little bit about that success? Yeah. So we built up to this trade show, um, for many months kind of thinking, okay, if we're going to launch this thing and, and get the attention we want, get the feedback we want from customers, uh, we should go for this TMC show. It's the Transportation Maintenance Council, where they basically determine the, the rules that manufacturers and fleets should follow to keep their equipment working right. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had everybody working on this thing from um, you know people doing metal work, doing graphics on the truck, um, doing marketing things, doing software, trying to get this show to be a success. And we all built up to that point. And I think it was a really good uh, experience. Customers loved it. And we got great feedback that we're on the right path. Absolutely. Well, that's actually one of the ways in which we got acquainted. I mean, I know we, you know, here at TAG, we work with, with Rise quite a bit, but, um, and we got to know each other a little bit before that, but leading up to the event, you, you called me and said, Hey, you know, can we, can we create some assets um, that we can take to the, to the show to be successful under a pretty tight timeline, I might say. Um, but we, we helped you with a, a new video, a photo shoot and a, and a new website, um, you know, thinking about the video first, cause, cause it really, uh, has created, you know, quite a reaction so far, you know, what was that like, you know, putting that together and then, and then seeing that on loop at the show. It was really cool seeing that come together, especially in the time frame it did. 
I know the edits were happening, you know, the last, last couple of weeks, we were making this thing in a, in a really tight deadline and it all, all came together. But, uh, you know, I've done a handful of videos in my time here and they're always kind of difficult to plan because you have to get, you know, a product on the ground and then plan out all your shots and hope the weather works with you and all that. And this was the easiest one I've done. Um, the team really came together and, and handled a lot of the hard parts that uh, typically fall in, in my lap and uh, made it a lot easier than usual. That's great. Um, what did your team think of it uh, when they saw the video come out? They like it. it, it this video plays kind of like a, a minute or two commercial, sort of high paced, high energy commercial for the gate. And uh, I think we're going to do quite a bit more with the video um, concept for this gate. That's awesome. No, we also did a, a photo shoot to kind of capture some behind the scenes, um, you know, moments and, and also, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about transportation logistics, but there's a, there's like you mentioned, uh, the team is always tinkering and, and working in their own garages. So there's, there's also a bit of like grit to, uh, you know, the hard work that goes into things. You know, my favorite shot, I think, was um, some of the images with the martini glasses full of, of water and olives going up and down on the lift gate. What was what was some of yours? I think that's that was a good one. Uh, that was really creative. I'm, I'm glad that came together at the last minute there. Uh, yeah, those kind of shots are neat because um, they're bold and, and people say, what what are they doing with that? You know, concept there It catches people's attention. Yeah. Um, what are some of the assets that, that uh, you're going to use that for or, or use the, the photos for in future assets rather? You know, uh, if we're shooting videos, we might as well be shooting photos at the same time. So it was great to tackle those both at the same time. Um, we can never have enough pictures. So anytime we come up with someone wants to see one little facet of the gate or we want to make a new marketing piece, having that photo library is a great asset uh, for making future marketing pieces. And being able to see stuff behind the scenes, I could see that being, you know, coming into play as we talk, uh, look back on this in a couple of years and people want to see sort of the development timeline and see how much work went into it. it might make a nice uh, marketing piece at some point too. Yeah, I think so too. I think, I think there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, like you mentioned, you know, Rebecca, Pete, our team, you know, they uh, really try to look at it from, from your perspective and say, okay, we may not have thought about this, but there's an opportunity. We're just going to go for it. And there is a couple of those there as well. Um, it, you know, and then to see it all kind of be pulled together on the, on the product website um, in, in similar, you know, short order, you know, what was it like, uh, you know, having that site to be able to send new, leads to new prospects and, and even have the opportunity to explain that to uh, folks at the show. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the website and the video or the, the one, two thing I wanted to knock out for this, um, for this trade show, uh, my whole marketing vision kind of starts with a great website and uh, it really is important. You know, we can't, we can't go to this trade show and give people, people a, a piece of blank paper that just says, Hey, here's our new lift gate specs. You know, it's got to yeah. look at the part of being really professional and really innovative. So uh, that comes down to great marketing assets and the website really came through for that. What was it like working with Ryan? Easy. You know, he, uh, he actually did four original sketches um, of, you know, ideas for the website, how it should look and feel. And I think we would have been well served by any, any of the four and where we wound up, um, Settling was something that's more sort of inspired by our old marketing in terms of color, but it had a whole fresh look. And uh, he was he was very prompt and uh, got the job done exactly how we wanted it. That's awesome. Well, I, you know, there's so much that you guys have going on right now um, with the new partnership, uh, you know, working with existing clients to, to meet their orders and, and needs. What's, uh, what's to come for Anthony Liftgates? You know, what's next? You know, 2021 was uh, a difficult year getting things out the door. And I feel like we finally seen, seen that calm down. My personal next big task is uh, to keep on the marketing efforts for this new regen lift gate uh, with another video or two, probably to start and then some more down the road. Um, but this year is a big one for the company in that uh, we're probably coming out with more new things this year than any year I've been here. And that, that's what makes my job exciting to be able to see these projects that have been going on for several years actually come to market. So it's pretty exciting. 
Well, on the new website, it'll have, uh, you know, 2022 as a, a, a banner year in your timeline, no? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, that, that is one thing that always, uh, I don't know, for me to go back and see, you know, the different markers that you guys have, have had over literally, what, 105 years now of, of being a business in, in one form or another, and, and to know that you, your team continues to push the envelope and, you know, your, your leadership has, um, you know, supports innovation in such an amazing way. Yeah. Uh, well, Kurt, it's always great to connect and hang out. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining me today. Oh, thanks for having me. You've been listening to the latest episode of the Inspectations Podcast. You have been listening to the Inspectations Podcast. On behalf of your host, Justin Starbird, and our guests today, thank you for listening. To learn more about the Inspectations Podcast, our guest, or the Abley Group, please visit us at www.ablegroup.com. Be sure to keep inspecting what you are expecting.